Hey dudes and chicks and neither if those girls don't buddy you welcome to Rick for last time my name is Katie. Today I am going to be doing another episode of Hump It or Dump It where I tell you what makeup releases I think you should swipe right on and what makeup releases I think you should swipe left on and it's kind of a roast sometimes but a lot of times things that I don't really like don't really catch my eye. So this is not a new makeup releases video. This is my opinion on new makeup that's actually interesting to me either for the better or for the worse and so for better or for worse if you guys are interested in hearing my relationship with the makeup that I see for better or for worse then just hang out So I also wanted to start by letting you guys know what things I have already that I haven't used. I actually have used this right now. I'll have the video. You'll see the video for this palette before you see this video. But I have the Cosmic Dreamer palette, the new remastered. I have the Secret Garden palette. I haven't even, I've just smelled it. <laughs> All I've done is look at it and smell it. It's so pretty. The shimmers in this are next level and I also have the Ellis Atlantis and Blend Bunny palette not sure exactly what the fuck I there's so many things I want to do with this and I don't even know where to start but those are the three new palettes that I have that I've gotten over the last like week or so to film for you guys so um those are clear cut humpets <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the shit out of them little motherfuckers <laughs> Okay, so some of these things I'm a little bit late on, but I'm just going to go into it. I actually already filmed this video, and I'm glad that I decided not to edit it, edit it and upload it because a couple of things have come up since then that I'm glad I got to include. So, um, essentially, I was a little harsh on the last one and probably too harsh. I don't want anybody to know that I'm that much of a bitch. My shots are in here. They want to be probably not in the video or do anything that I actually want them to do. They just want to, like cause problems. So I'm going to start from the first things first and this is kind of taking it way back. Um, I'm going to start with the Amy Loves Makeup and Adept Cosmetics collaboration because I just want to say a couple words. So the Amy Loves Makeup and Adept Cosmetics collaboration, it looks beautiful. It The shimmers look amazing. It looks super shifty and totally great. I love it. It's amazing. Now, I'm not exactly, um, I would say I'm not exactly into that cool tone color story currently. However, a new release just came out that I'm really all about. I'm petting my kitty. She's so annoyed. Sweetie, say hello. Say hello. She's my sweet baby. Actually, she's a little shitin. She's a total shat troublemaker. God, I'm having a hard time getting into this. Okay, so the so anyway, the Amy Loves Makeup and Adept Cosmetics collaboration. The color story really wasn't like screaming to me right now. I feel like I went so buck wild with the Cold Moon palette of Cool Tone color stories that like cool tones aren't really screaming my name currently, but it's just because of the season. And I don't wear colors because of the season, but I do tend to be drawn to those like, I, you know, I don't really love fall colors, but I really love winter colors and I especially love them in winter. And I really love summer colors and I especially love them in summer. You know what I mean? So it's like, I just get that bright, like, the, like living the living experience of life during the like spring and summer seasons and so this color story wasn't really calling my name now I'm going to say two things about this the first thing is the initial teaser picture of this was like a pink cloudy heaven and like you could see the pop of blue in there but this looked like it was absolutely going to be a pink palette and I freaked out like I was so excited that Adept was actually going to come out with a pink palette and like I was going to get it like period like there was no ifs ands or buts about it when I saw the teaser picture I was absolutely going to get this and there was no fucking question and then I'm not going to lie when I saw the actual color story and saw that it was like a neutral gray cool tone color story with a pop of blue I was disappointed as fuck and I'm going to tell you why because if Adept Cosmetics came out with a pink palette wouldn't it be probably the best pink palette that ever existed I mean honestly it would have five pink mattes or like five you know, five mattes that would go with a pink look and then it would be 
the most crazy, amazing, shifty pinks. You know what I mean? And like anything that would go with it. It would be absolutely my fucking pink wet dream come true, right? No, keep them dry. It's going to be okay. No wet dreams here. It's like a neutral palette with some like a couple pink shimmers, but it's mostly not pink at all. And so I was like disappointed as I usually am. Now, don't hear my heart. I am so excited for people when they do collabs. I am not even saying anything about the collaborator, which is going to segue into the next thing that I'm going to talk about. Because, you know, I, I wanted to speak about collaborations with creators because, like, I love that. I, like, support them. Also, I don't buy collabs purely to support content creators. There's only a couple cl content creators on this on this platform that I'm actually I would consider myself friends with. And I'm going to say right now like I I loved the original Annette collab with Odin's Eye and I just wasn't able to get it at that time. And so like I felt like a sense of loss but also like a sense of like I I felt like I was being disloyal to her but I just couldn't get it. The other thing is is that I don't really care for Odin's eye. And so it's like this thing where, you know, if I don't like the color story and I don't like the brand, I'm not going to get the palette just to support the collaborator. If I ever did a collab with a brand, I only want people to get it if they love the color story, right? Like, I don't want people to get a palette because they don't love the color story. I don't want people to watch my content because they feel a sense of loyalty to me. I want people to watch my content because it feeds their soul. Which is why, like, it doesn't really hurt my feelings when, like, subscribers unsubscribe because they're not getting what they need from my content. It's not because of me. It's because of what the way life is. So, like, I don't want people to consume my products unless they actually need what it's providing. So, I don't care to say something good or bad. I feel like it's gotten to the point where if we say anything, that anything, like, uh, not derogatory. I'm not saying anything derogatory about the palette. The swatches are beautiful. The colors are killer. The color story is amazing. It just didn't scream to me. However, I do feel like if we don't have anything but positive to, things to say about collab launches, it's like we're saying something negative about the collaborator. And that's not it at all, right? It's just like, I just wanted to say that. So I didn't get the Amy Loves Makeup and Adept Cosmetics collaboration. It's beautiful though. It is absolutely beautiful. It's not like this thing where you see this guy with this like hot girl and he's like, you know, some kind of way and like maybe a little dad bod or like wearing glasses or like you can't tell exactly why that chick is going out with that dude, right? Or vice versa. It's more like... Uh, that's like some doctor wearing khakis. Not really my style, but it is my style. It just wasn't my priority. And also I did feel a little clickbaited with this like pink dreamy number going on. And then, you know, I'll like, it, I did feel a little hoodwinked or clickbaited by this like pink dream that I'll be displaying right here. It's like my pink heaven. And then it's like just a neutral palette with a pop of blue. I feel like we're really bringing back the pop of blue, aren't we? The Odin's Eye Single Shimmer Shadow Collection. I, obviously, I'm not interested in Odin's Eye at all. I don't care for that brand. I just don't. Like, I'm not trying. I know a lot of people love Odin's Eye. I know it speaks their theme, like, speaks to people on a different kind of level. And honestly, I wish it spoke to me that way. I just feel like there's something about their products and there's something about them as a brand that repels me. It just repels me. I'm curious to see, did Teresa is Dead get the single shimmer shadows in PR? or not because I was curious to see after she said that the holographic shadow in the reindeer palette was shit and she was actually super harsh about it. I'm curious to see. I think that I've seen that she has gotten PR from them since then um, which is shocking because usually like if anybody says anything about Odin's Eye except people that have done collabs with them they like don't send them PR anymore which I think is untrustworthy. It's an untrustworthy move so anyway. 
I will say I watched Ali Dawson's swatch party video of those singles and I did make a list of all the shadows that like I felt like were you couldn't live without and then all the shadows that were really just so-so. And I think you can get like if you got these one, two bundles, you would get all the good shifty shadows except and then plus three that were on my list. Like there was three on my list or there was three in the bundles that I didn't have on my list that I could take or leave. And it would have been like 165 bucks or something for both single kits, which honestly, for the amount of singles that it was, it that seems reasonable as far as like bundles, single shifty special shades bundles. I'm just often disappointed by Odin's eye quality. I mean, I have the Planet Spirit Planet or whatever, Planet Spirit palette collab with Betty Jean which I wasn't gonna get. Here's another thing about collab palettes, and I'm not saying anything bad about any buddy or collabs or anything. Like, I, I get excited for people when they're making their dreams come true, especially women. Especially women when they're boss bitches and they're making all their dreams come true and they're killing it and they're succeeding. Love it, I love that for them. However, the Planet Spirit palette is a color story that I, was totally attracted to. It didn't have any dimensions, so that's like, it kind of is a little bit of a, it's a second thought, you know what I mean? Like it's a second guesser. Like you look at it and you go, oh, that's so pretty. And then you go, oh, there's no dimension. And then you kind of make a decision with that piece of information. Now, the Planet Spirit collab, I actually didn't even look twice at it to buy it because it didn't really remind me anything of Betty Jean at all. And uh, that meant something to me in that moment, you know, like, I don't know if it means anything to me now, but like in that moment, like the collaborator didn't seem like, it just didn't seem like the spirit of Benny Jean was in that palette. And so like it immediately turned me off to it. And then my friend and manager, Tanya was like, Katie, you need to get that palette. It's fucking beautiful. And I was like, oh yeah, I do. That's, I'm just telling the truth. I'm not like trying to say anything bad about Anybody except Odin's Eye. Um, no, I'm just joking. But really, what does that say about Odin's Eye? You know what I mean? What does it say about him? Because I'm just saying, like, I've been watching Betty Jean for years. She's like one of my first YouTubers. Like, I've been watching her for years. Like, I emulate her style. I love her skill. I love her color choices. Um, she's changed and, and her style has changed when my style went a different way. But now I'm kind of coming back to it. So it's like, that's kind of the ebb and flow of creativity. And like, now I've been watching Betty Jean again. I love her. And I just didn't see her in that palette at all. And so what does that say about Odin's eye? It's not, maybe it doesn't say anything, but like, it's always this thing. Like we all do what we all do our own thing with information. And so I already have this like schema is what it's called of Odin's eye, right? I have this little box that I've had that have them placed in about like little pieces of information that I've gotten it behind the scenes and like just things that I've seen happen and then I see that they had Betty Jean's palette wasn't like her style at all. It didn't seem to, but maybe I'm wrong. You know what I mean? But then I put that piece of information in the schema and I go, of course, of course, Odin's eye did that. So anyway, it's just this thing where, so like in that case, it actually made me not want to buy it. And I ended up buying it anyway, because the color story is irresistible, even though it didn't have dimension. And it's a fucking killer companion palette. Like, those pops of color change any look. They'll change any palette. You throw that palette into any any color story and there is a color in that palette to make that look pop. And the shimmers, beautiful. You know what I mean? They did not fucking, they did not fail on the quality of that palette. I'm just like making like observations and like just kind of commenting on like collabs. Now, Blend Bunny just did the collab with Ella Atlantis. I, I've never heard of that person before. I was a little bit like, um, mm. like we've kind of had a conversation about this. I don't know if it was on my Patreon, but one of my subscribers, just kidding, Tanya. It was Tanya said, Maggie is the collab for Blend Bunny. And I was like, exactly. She is the collab. Like she is the collab. Like Maggie is an Instagram artist who created a blossoming and successful and high quality brand of cosmetics that like for artists 
on Instagram, really. You know what I mean? Like, for her. She created a brand for that person who, who is her three years ago, right? Or whatever. Like, that person who is her six years ago. Like, I don't remember when she started Blend Bunny. It was, like, probably three or four years ago. But just stating that, like, I was actually, like, a little bit, like, I just had a second of, like, mm, when I saw that Blend Bunny had done a collab. And I'm not sure what that's about. That's obviously something about me. I feel like we have been... It's just a thing about collabs and like, is there like a sense of obligation? Um, is it like, I don't know. It, it, I don't know what it is. Like I need to take a look at it. It's obviously not about anybody else but me. And like, I do love it when women succeed and I love it when content creators succeed. It's just like something that I've been thinking about is like, what does it really mean? So I bought that Blend Bunny palette like that and I love it. And I don't even know who that collaborator is. So it's like, you know, I just have this thing about like, are people like, if I, if I feel like people are trying to like force me or like use underhanded ways to like trick me into buying palettes that I don't really like by brands that I don't really care for, do you know what I mean? So it's got to be head, heart, and crotch. Like my friend tells me like about relationships, you got, they got to meet me at the mind, they got to meet me in the heart, they got to meet me at the crotch. Well, it's got to be like brand, collaborator, and color story, right? Brand, collaborator, and theme. So it's like, it's got to meet me in all those areas. And if it doesn't, then I don't want to have to feel guilty for not buying it or feel like obligated that I have to buy it or even that I have to like it or that I have to say that I like it on my channel. I, I feel a sense of loyalty to the brands that I work with and I often, I don't like to do ranking videos because I feel like if I rank my palettes, that's like, if a palette doesn't rank, it means that like somebody that I admire and respect who put their whole heart and soul into something, like it, a cut on their palette is a cut on them. And on the other side of that, I don't feel the same way about collabs. And so it's just like this odd dynamic where I'm just not exactly sure how I'm starting to feel about collabs. They're just like coming out left and right. And I support it. I mean, honestly, like eventually one day I'd like to have a collab, but I'd more like to have my own brand. You know what I mean? But like still, I would like to do a collab with somebody, but I wouldn't want you guys to buy it just because you like me. I would want you guys to buy it because you love the color story, because it reminds you of me, because you love my makeup style, because like I create a palette that actually helps you guys create the looks that you guys are always telling me how creative I am. Like if I was going to collab, I would want to make a palette that helped you guys create the looks that you admire on my videos, right? So, and that's probably what the Amy Loves Makeup and Adept collab is. Like people who watch your channel, I don't watch her channel as much as I used to because she's so fair. She's so fair that but, uh, her reviews aren't really applicable to my experience as a woman with older skin and as a woman with medium skin tone her reviews they don't work for me so anyways and also her makeup style is not my makeup style so it's like I've kind of like more start like always tended to gravitate toward people who are actually like feeding my creative process like even if that's like creating videos or you know, interjecting new kinds of things into my content. Like those are the videos that I watch. They're the videos that I aspire to have that in my channel. So it's fucking rare. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit that out. Anyway, so I did create a list of all the colors that I love from the Ali Dawson video of the Odin's Eye Singles. But I wouldn't pay 165 bucks on Odin's Eye. I can, you could barely get me to spend 50 bucks on an Odin's Eye palette. So the Clarity Cosmetics Forbidden Love palette launched. It's been a while back. It's May 2nd. That's like old fucking news. That's so last week. Um, and I love the cover. I love the color story. I'm not sure what my fucking problem is. I just haven't pulled the trigger and I just don't know why. It just hasn't been so persuasive. I honestly feel like the shimmers look flat. They look a little normal. <laughs> so it's like um, what you see is what you get shimmers maybe. And that was kind of my problem with the Moonshroom palette. It, they just looked like the shimmers were basically like a what you see is what you get shimmer. And that just doesn't cut it for me anymore. Like I'm wearing a what you see is what you get shimmer. And I love it. But honestly, when I swatched it on my arm, it was a little shifty. And honestly, that's the reason why it looks so great. And it's only one color. 
because it's not just one color. It's subtle. I'm going to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury fragrances. I saw the thumbnail for an Angelic Anique this video and it could have been a lot of times she'll write the worst over the top of like palettes that you know are like the best and she'll write worst or best over the top of like bullshit. And in a way, I think it's like intriguing if you're you click on the video so you can actually see, see if she's going to say like this unearthly palette is going to be the worst or whatever, you know, you kind of, it kind of, um, makes you curious as to if she's really going to say something that's really good is actually shitty, um, which never happens, but she, it said on the new releases thumbnail, it had the Charlotte Tilbury fragrance bottles on the thumbnail. And then it said, has Charlotte, has Charlotte Tilbury lost the plot? And I've seen her write that a couple times on a thumbnail. I'm pretty sure it was about that. I think these look fucking cool. I'm going to tell you, I don't, I don't like perfume. And the reason why is because there's something about the alcohol in it. I can taste it. I can literally taste it all day. If I put for perfume on, actual perfume like body sprays, not like that. Any kind of oils or like anything like that is not like that. But actual perfume, I can taste the alcohol on my tongue as long as it's on my body. I don't know what it is. If you spray it in the same room, it'll be in my mouth all fucking day long. So I don't really care for perfume because of that reason I can taste it. I don't know if anybody else has that experience, but like I've always had that. If I, if I spray perfume in the same room, I get it on my tongue. It's like, I don't know what it is. I just can taste the alcohol. It like sits on my tongue and it tastes like shit like all day long. But I think these bottles are cool. And I, I was also watching an Angelica Neek this video recently and she was talking about how fragrances, it was like makeup, skincare was the new makeup and now fragrance is the new skincare or whatever. Skin fragrance is the new makeup. And so like, I don't feel like this is missing the plot at all. I think these bottles are adorable. They're super compelling to me. They are really like alluring. I think that these bottles are alluring and I think that the um, art on the front of them, the graphic, I, I think these are beautiful. And honestly, if I saw them in an Ulta or a Sephora, I would smell them because the bottles are so intriguing to me. So I think they look great, but I don't buy fragrances. So that's a hard pass. The next thing I have is the Jolie Beauty Till Death collection. Now, when I first saw the teaser, I was super excited about it. And I'm just going to clarify what's inside fits perfectly. It's like perfect, but it's also like a cool tone neutral palette. It's got some warm tones in it, but it was like just not, um, it wasn't drawing me in. I kind of, as I said earlier, I've kind of been really into like more colorful shit. The mirror is adorable. The lippies are adorable. They're also probably colors that I already got from the Rose from the Dead collection from Notoriously Morbid. They actually match that like vibe very, pretty perfectly. The, and I really like it that there's the cool tone greens and the pinks and the purples and the grays. Like it has all the, it has all the fixings, right? The trappings. I just wasn't really feeling it. And the reason why is because there isn't any duochromes in this, I don't think. She, she, they, there isn't any glitters either, which is new for them. They always do a press glitter, but I think that it's, they, there's, they said that it's their new improved metallic formula, which from what I've heard is fucking phenomenal like actually from somebody in person who bought the palette and I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I wanted to buy it I put a thing on Instagram about whether or not people wanted to see it and I just didn't get it and now it's sold out so now that it's sold out I'm like oh that sucks it's only $53 which I think is pretty affordable for a palette of this caliber no of the size <laughs> I don't know about the caliber because I haven't tried it but I heard that it was really good and also it just wasn't the vibe of it wasn't like it's just was the neutral the neutrality wasn't like speaking to me at all and now that it's gone I'm like shit um also I did get an affiliated link I got an email from them I don't know, probably like a week or two ago, like probably maybe like three days before this launched, say, inviting me into their affiliate program. And I emailed them back and said, hey, I just uh, was wondering, can I get a discount code? For one, sales just do better if you have a discount code. And for two, um, I'll do anything for my subscribers. That's what I actually said in my email. And and they emailed me back and said, unfortunately, we're, we don't have a discount code yet. 
Um, so I couldn't get that for you guys, but I will have an affiliated link for Jolie Beauty in the description box. It's not there yet. Um, I just haven't put it there yet, but I do have that. If you guys do want to buy this and you want to help me out, help out my channel, you can use my link, but I couldn't get a discount code and I actually did ask. So um, I love the palette. I'm really regretful now that I didn't get it. I think the reason why I didn't get it is because I see I didn't see that there was any shifty shades, which they normally have two like multi-chromes and two pressed glitters and then the rest are like pretty normal shimmers, but who wants to use normal shimmers anymore? Okay, I have the Cosmic Dreamer in here and I actually am wearing it. I'm wearing the Cosmic Dreamer. I clearly message was like hey can I buy this early I she allowed me to she's so good to me it was, it was a swipe it was a swipe right for sure like immediately the lethal cosmetics you guys know I don't really care for lethal but they're coming out with an avatar the last hourbander and I know that you guys have probably already heard like mentions of this on other people's new releases videos but I am really curious to see what this color story is going to be like because I love avatar the last airbender and um so yeah, if the color story was cool, like it could be a maybe, I don't know. Lethal doesn't really do it for me. And also the color story probably won't either. So you can kind of see it, it's like blurred out, but there's a blue, a green, a red, and a yellow. So it's probably, or probably brown or like tan because it's earth, water, fire, and air. So it'll probably kind of correlate with that. We'll see, but honestly, I'm interested in it. It has my attention. Maybe I'll probably just be disappointed by it anyways and lethal cosmetics doesn't really it's not just it's not my brand I like I said, I, I don't have anything bad to say about lethal not ever period They're a badass indie brand that has made a name and a following for themselves doing something different than everybody else Totally support it. They're just not my and they're not my boo. Okay, so ColourPop um, showed pictures of these glittery lipsticks that are in the Pokemon. Now, for one, I'm not really into Pokemon. That's something that I'm not into. But these glittery lipsticks, the pictures look so good that I actually thought the glitter was on top. And then I found out that who took these pictures? It's Darina Barakina on Instagram and she takes photos and she's actually the one that took these photos and she's such a good Instagram photographer. She actually teaches classes on how to photograph flat lays, how to photograph makeup looks, like, and she's very talented. She could make a turd look good on Instagram. So it's like, I feel like that's basically what she did with these ColourPop lippies. So that being said, I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> Lipstick on a pig is what we call that. Fantasy Cosmetica just came out with the 12 pan palette and I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I also really like the brushes and if I can get them, I'm going to. Um, I have like a deadline that's kind of might go right over. So if it's not sold out by the end of the week, I am definitely getting I'm getting the palette either way, but I'm definitely getting the palette and the brushes. And honestly, if I'm in the in the position, I might get the wizard palette with the highlighter as well, just to kind of, you know, round it out. I really think that the wizard palette goes really great with this color story. This color story is bomb and it's not a nine pound palette. So I'm really excited to try Fantasy Cosmetica. I've been waiting to pull the trigger on these guys. I just haven't, like I've liked all their palettes, just not enough, you know, a nine pound palette, I have to already be a fan. I have to already have a relationship with you and already be in love with you to like actually want to spend my money on a nine pound palette because they're just not enough for me. Um, the color story has to be, I just like a, a, a bigger palette. So 12 and above is like pretty fucking great and I'm really excited. The color story is fucking beautiful. I love these colors. I think the shimmers look like they are questionable, but from what I've heard, they're really beautiful and shifty and great. So I'm excited about this launch. I'm excited to be get on board with the Fantasy Cosmetica. And it's a dragon palette, which it's the year of the dragon. You guys know I'm all about that shit. I don't know what it is. It's called Cradled in Ice, but I keep wanting to call it Cradled in Filth. So if I do that, it's really an endearing term. It's not a bad thing. Listen. There's a new brand, it's called Mad Witch Cosmetics, and it's, the brand owner is my friend Steph from Not Your Basic Steph. And okay, I'm not gonna lie, the matte color story 
doesn't look amazing to me like it's not really my thing it's like a cool tone neutral side and a, and a warm tone neutral side it's great it will work for anything however there's these badass shimmery pops of color there's a, a badass pink a badass aqua a cool cool green and a beautiful orange so like in the four corners there's like these beautiful and then there's like a really nice highlight inner corner highlight shade and a black shimmer so honestly i think it's gonna work and i actually have this on the way to me coming in pr so i'm pretty excited about it i think i can work with this and honestly i would do it either way like e either way i would do it for stuff i do like i don't like that it's neutral but i do like the pops of color and also I feel like my my preferences aren't changing but my tolerance is changing and I can I can kind of see the value in a neutral look with a badass pop of lime fucking green that's probably shifty as fuck and let me see like if the swatches show the shifts I know that she did swatches that do show the shifts but if the, she could have not picked better colors than a lime green a shifty orange to red a, an aquamarine and a bright pink like those are like that's my favorite shit. So uh, I'm pretty excited. It's already on its way. It's coming from the States rather than the UK. She's in the UK. So like my package is coming from the US. So it probably will be here in a couple days. I'm really excited to show you guys that. Also, I love the name Mad Witch. <laughs> Ain't we all, girl? Ain't we all? Congratulations, stuff on your new brand. Like best of luck and all the success in the world. I'm so excited for you. Nice move. Nomad Cosmetics just teased out a destination clue again these colors are beautiful there's a shimmery green and a aquamarine matte we'll see we'll see how it goes okay the last thing that i have on here is actually a total roast and i don't mean no disrespect but like danessa myricks just came out with love is love is love all over love is love all over face palette so now for one who sings that song i don't know but i don't know if you guys ever saw a movie called electric dreams it's like a total 80s as fuck movie electric dreams and it's about a computer that's actually alive and it falls in love with this chick and it like tries to sabotage all of her relationships and like kill her boyfriend i don't fucking remember it's that old but there's a song and i'm pretty sure is it by the culture club let's find out it goes, love is love is nothing without you, right? <laughs> I can't get it out of my head and I couldn't figure out why I had that song stuck in my head. Love is love is everything you do. Open up your eyes and you will see. Okay, wait. Who is it? It's got to be Boy George. The Culture Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've had that song stuck in my head all day, which isn't a bad thing. It's a great fucking song. I love The Culture Club. Like, I always have. However, I do want to say, what is going on here? It's like three shadows on one side. It's a face palette, obviously. So it's, it's pretty cute. I love the design. It's also so 80s. Actually... Okay, now it all makes sense. This is an 80s themed palette that looks totally 80s. And it's got those that stripey fucking number in the middle, which I'm not going to be duped by that again. I will not be okie doked by the stripey fucking shadow. Now, these do look a little bit bigger, so you could actually get like a regular size brush in them. But how is this a face palette? I mean, I don't, I don't know. How are those stripey shadows a face palette? It's an all-over face palette. Is that a matte? No, these are all shimmers. There's a black shimmer, and then there's two big... Um, I wonder how much this is. An 11-shade multi-chrome all-over face palette with four unique finishes designed for all skin tones, celebrating the LGBTQ plus community and all forms of love. Okay, so now I can't say anything bad about it. It's only $65. Yeah, I guess it's all right. I think it looks kind of stupid. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just think it looks... Um, like something I don't want to buy. It's a hard pass. I was going to talk a lot more shit about it, but now I get it. The theme is 80s. Now it's like supporting the LGBTQ plus palette, so, or plus community, so... I'll just shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> that's, that's all there is. There is no more. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. 
hit the like button if you like this video or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boy charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got like halfway through this video and you're like, oh my god, she's so pretty until she opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you're like, don't check your code to Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel, then go check out my Patreon. I don't hold anything back on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me and I totally appreciate you. Later. Slayer!